destruction to total destruction to burn! The monocycle chase through the streets of Queens, New York was a very complex mix of live action, blue screen, and digital set pieces. Background plates were shot at night and then stabilized and match moved. Additionally, highly detailed rotoscope of cars, signs, and street pieces was done in order to allow tight integration of our digital monocycles into the live action plates. An elaborate vehicle crash and pileup was designed and shot, but later in editorial, the filmmakers wanted to have a couple more angles on the action that didn't get originally filmed. Artists then had to recreate three city blocks, the crash, and all effects completely digitally. Detailed surveys and HDR photographs were taken of the location during our nights of filming. This reference was used as the basis for the digital build. Artists then skillfully built, textured, and lit all the hundreds of pieces that went into creating three complete blocks of Queens, New York. Puddled water, light flares, period cars, and lots of wear and tear on the streets and buildings were all combined to create the photoreal environment. For the actual semi-trailer truck crash, animators combined keyframe animation and simulation to achieve the dynamic interaction between the truck, box truck, bus, and street. Effects artists then created water sprays, tire smoke, sparks, and other debris, along with detailed lighting to seamlessly blend between live action and purely digital shots. Ultimately, the monocycle sequence utilized a dizzying array and combination of techniques. Live action backgrounds, fully digital backgrounds, CG characters combined with on-set photography, CG vehicles with live action characters, and a diverse range of effects. Artists used cutting edge techniques in lighting and simulation to seamlessly create the chase across entire city blocks, all the while keeping the audience in the heart of the action.